Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the advanced beginners course and where we take one picture and go slow and careful in editing it. So here we have a picture of the White House and uh, we've got some nice story going on here. This sort of shanty tent with some protest directly outside for the president to see and some various people along here. So this is a raw picture, so we're starting off, we're in the develop persona. So what we're going to do here, we look at the histogram here and look at the picture. And there's a fair much sort of darks in here. It's nice to pull a bit of the light up from the darks. And a way to do that is to go down to shadows and highlights and pull the highlights down, which is mostly you can see at the watch the histogram here. As we move that up and down, it's pulling down just the lights. So it's kind of compressing it a bit. So we pull that down. We don't see how far we can go. That's OK. Then we can always go back to that, then go back to, that, back to the exposure and move that forward a bit. And that just now drags everything up, including pulling up the darks. So we're getting a bit more light into the darks that way. And then let's try a little bit of move the black point up to get a bit of black. If we go too far, we'll see this. We'll get those uh, warnings in there. So we back off so that there's no warnings and we can see detail in the dark. Maybe here we can reduce a little bit of saturation because that tends to push saturation up when we do that. Just a little bit. OK, that's enough for now there. So we're going to develop it now which takes us to the photo persona up here. Now then, first thing we're going to do here is kind of square it off. So, because this is a bit of an angle here, so we go along to the perspective tool. And the way we do this is where it says mode, change that to source. Then we're going to put this onto something which is reliably rectangular. And the windows up there seem like a good thing. So we'll just start off by putting them in places where we know the windows are going to be regular here. And it's not moving because I've got snapping on. Turn that off, then I can slide these in. But if I go up here, then I can actually arrange that. I'll go that to the corner of that window there. I can't really see the bottom, so I'm just going to go to the corner there. And then go over here to the other side. Go, where's the end of it? There it is. Then up to the corner of the window there. And the corner of the window here. Now we can hit Control-0 to go back out again. And we'll square that up by going to the destination and just move this a little bit here. Now we want this snapping on to make us get to the squared point. So this is now truly horizontal. And move this as well. So this, each of these, so you get to a nice square point. There we go. So in other words, these are now, that's nice and horizontal and vertical there. And see, we've made a space there. So we're going to apply this first. Then to select that whole area, we're going to crop in elsewhere afterwards, but it's nice to have a bit more sky. So I'm going to go to select alpha range and select partially transparent, which also selects fully transparent. So it'll select all of those and any partially ones along there. Then when I go to edit and in paint, it'll fill in doing the in-painting around where I've selected. OK. Around the top there is where I wanted it most. Control D to turn off the marching ants. Let's have a look up there. Is that OK? Oh, that needs a little bit of help up there, doesn't it? So we'll just go to the clone tool here. We could do on a separate layer, but actually we only need to do a bit here. so. I'm just going to cheat and do it here. So Alt-click down here, and I'm going to 
paint a bit of that tree there just back up into there and that's kind of fixed that and everything else is okay there control zero back out again and down here this the railings aren't quite matching but we'll use a crop and we'll come in on this. So I'm going to take out that partial person there. I'm going to come into the edge here to round about here. It's nice to have those clips in because it shows that this is very much a shanty place. I'm going to pull this up here just above the railing there so I can see the message there which is interesting. And from up there I'll just keep that where it is. That's fine. Maybe just take the snapping off so I can move it just a little bit there. So I've got the flag in and a bit of space above it. So apply that. Right, now that's getting better. Now let's add a bit more contrast. So I'm going to go to the adjustments and curves and turn the whites up a bit and bring this back down a bit. Yeah, that's better. Better check the white balance, I think. So we'll go to adjustments and white balance and go to the picker and click around here. That's nine and zero. Try somewhere else. Two and zero. Around here, nine zero. That looks a little bit on the warm side, actually. I don't think it needs to be that far. We'll make it just a tiny bit warm, so the two percent is better. Now then, what next? One of the things you can get in here is sometimes colours intrude a bit too much. Reds are very typical of this. So a way to address that is go to adjustments, HSL. And we'll go to the reds here, that red there and want to take down. So I go to the picker and click on that, which selects that. It's a fairly solid red, so I can bring in these edges a bit so it doesn't affect such a wide area. And then turn down the saturation and watch what happens over here. There you go, that's just bringing that down so it doesn't intrude quite so much. And it hasn't affected the other reds too much so that's just fine. If necessary we just mask for that. What else? I think the blues here are a bit heavy as well. So let's go to the blues, go to the picker and click on blue here. And that goes up there. Let's click on this blue as well. Very little change there. So again we can bring it in a bit and then desaturate a bit so those don't intrude quite so much. Maybe we can also turn the luminosity up to make them a little bit brighter, just get a bit more life into them. And rebalance again. There we go. Now then, let's apply a bit of sharpening to tidy up, but first of all let's look for noise. If you go right into here, there is some noise in here. If we applied sharpening, then this would uh, get worse. In fact, we'll do it first just to show it. So I'll go to Live Filter. I often use a high pass filter for sharpening. Turn up the radius here to round about one. And Blend Mode, Linear Light. And you can see here how that noise has come in there. So if I go one step below there and then go to denoise, and it's often good to do it this way around because I can see how much I need to take down the luminescence there. There you go, just up a little bit and it's knocked off that pixelation there in the noise. So I've matched the denoising to the sharpening and done just enough so that works okay. Let's look elsewhere if the sharpening is not okay. So the people here, that's fine. And 
let's try putting in a bit of a okay, the main thing there's a story going on down here so I'm going to put a lightning layer in and to do that is above here I'm going to put in a ellipse and for now I'll just put it like this and then rotate it round so that it needs the move tool here drag it down here so it covers that kind of area and it shows leads the eye a bit up here and I'll go to FX for this go to Gaussian blur turn that on and turn up the radius need even more of that so maybe about 400 that's it so there's it's very much like that very blurred and change the blend mode of that to just soft light work sometimes screen and this sort of thing no soft light there we go so it's just lightened that up a bit let's try it so go away from there and just try turning it off and on maybe reduce the opacity bits so it's not quite as strong but it's pulled up I just there's a very gentle pulling between those two and then we'll put a vignette around the outside so we'll go to light filters here we just use a standard vignette nothing fancy click on vignette for doing this turn the exposure right down so you can see what's dark and what's light adjust the scale so it's a covering it and the shape so it's going to be a bit of an oval and play with the shape again because we just really want to darken off the corners a bit we don't do anything fancy here then take down the hardness so it's very soft may need to rescale it again so there's darkness just into the corners bring down the exposure so it's hardly noticeable you shouldn't really notice where you've got a vignette so let's do a before and after see it just knocks out those corners and that keeps the eye into the middle of the picture and stops it from drifting off to the other side anyway there we go that's a an improvement with colors just gently held down a little bit so there's a focus more towards the White House and that we're not being dragged too much and there's a little bit of a pull down to here for this story. That's it and thank you very much for watching.